One of the biggest life lessons for me is the value of building trusted relationships. Trusted relationships allow you to go on journeys with your clients, which take you through challenging situations and allow you to achieve great things in, in the industry. Um, not just in business, but also in your personal life. One, one and two are the same with the relationships you build. And this is the secret source and really is at the core of what we do on the advisory side of the business. Early in my career, I learned the importance of being decisive. One of my first bosses was uh, very decisive. She had a big team and people came to her all day long with her, for her opinion and advice. She was able to make clear decisions and always you always left the conversation having some clarity on what to do next. I've also worked with leaders who are ambiguous, who are unresponsive and, and don't help you figure out what to do to move forward. And this can create a lot of anxiety and also just slow things down so you, don't, you aren't as productive, as creative as you can be. So I think for great leaders, it's important to be decisive and to help your teams have the clarity and confidence so they can move forward more quickly and be confident in the decisions that they're making. Uh, to me, the life lesson uh, has been education. Um, uh, after my second degree, I didn't have any reason to go back to school, but I was curious and I was interested to learn more. And I think that has served me uh, personally very well. It's opened doors that I didn't know was there. So I did my PhD as a practicing lawyer. Um, my wife goes, why would you do this when you've got a good job and a career in law? Well, because I was interested in the subject matter. And um, it turns out 15 years later, I wouldn't have got a professorship job if I hadn't had a PhD. Uh, so the thing about education is that um, it is rewarding in its own right for the knowledge you gain, but it also can open some doors you don't know are there. When I was younger in the real estate business, I paid a lot of attention to technology, to understanding um, you know, data analytics, property valuation, highest and best use, the fundamentals of real estate, net effective rents, and I realized that I had to learn as much as I possibly could. But as I progressed through my career, I learned that you didn't need to know everything and that you could just jump in and figure things out. And I think that jump in ability really drives the success of many folks at our industry. Mistakes are okay. It's easy to learn from those mistakes and then drive forward because the opportunity and the innovation and the brilliance can come out of some of the lessons that you learn through the journey, not being perfect at every single item that we've gone through.